So uh, 12D and Revit. Um, uh, increasingly in the UK, we're starting to see a lot of uh, Revit models come through. Um, and uh, I just wanted to quickly demonstrate how to uh, bring those models um, or bring that uh, data into 12D. So uh, it 12D doesn't uh, bring in um, straight Revit DWG files. Um, what needs to happen is uh, in Revit, you need to uh, export um, the model into a uh, film box file, or FBX file. So in Revit, we go to the, uh, the home screen, down to export, and then to FBX. When in uh, 12D, um, to bring in the uh, FBX file, we have to go to File, Data Input, FBX. And then uh, obviously find that file. Uh, where is it? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, just prefix it. Uh, building basement. New. I'm going to bring that in as a concrete color and hit import. So in 12D, I'm just going to have a quick look at that model. So that's it in our perspective view. Um, so it's, it's the same as uh, viewing anything else. Works works pretty well. So uh, as as most users will know, or as most Revit users will know, or even Silver 3D users will know, um, obviously the Revit models that that are exported are, are not in a uh, world. Um, coordinate setting they're uh, in a local local uh, local grid or um, or based on floors so basically when I brought it in um, I also d worked out that uh, it was exported in uh, in feet and uh, not not uh, meters so um, so basically there's a couple of steps I have to do I have to basically first factor it um, so I'm going to factor the model um, by uh, the conversion rate between feet and uh, meters which is, um, uh, what was it, 0 0.3048. So we're going to go hit factor. So we then have to put it in a position. Um, so I'm basically, I brought in uh, the CAD version um, and uh, I'm going to basically place it by uh, the core of the building. Um, so to do that, I just have to go to uh, Translate or Utilities HNZ Translate. I then pick uh, my model. I'm going to snap on. Uh, this point here, and I'm going to move it to uh, to this point here. So it will work out the uh, the delta. Um, I'm then going to go replace existing data, hit translate, and I'm then going to turn it on in this plan. So I then uh, need to rotate um, the Revit model. So to do that, uh, I'm actually just going to work out um, the angle it needs to to, uh, to change by. And to do that, we do just use this nifty little tool. So it's uh, 14 degrees, 42 minutes, 33 seconds. So to uh, to rotate the model, we go down to utilities, H and Z, and we go rotate. We pick the uh, the Revit model. We pick the uh, the origin for rotation, um, and then uh, I basically will just copy this uh, this angle down. Um, I want to go anti-clockwise, and I'm going to replace. The existing data and hit rotate. So I'm just double checking that that is right. Yep, looks good to me. So we uh so our next I'm next going to check the uh the vertical orientation. Um, so I'm just going to turn off the Revit model in plan view. Sort of slows down my computer a little bit too much. Um, and I'm basically just going to take a section um through the site and see where it is basically sitting at the moment. Um, I need to turn on the Revit model. 
So as we can see, um, the it's actually a bit too low at the moment. It's coming in at um, minus 6.775 and minus 3.775. So the likelihood is that this, this basement was designed basically based on a zero, zero, zero coordinate. And obviously the uh, they've worked out the, the, the levels of the basements by a negative value from the zero. So I have to move that um, to, to a real, real, real level. Um, and I'm going to show you how to calculate it. Uh, so I've already done this task before, but um, obviously how I calculated the numbers, I went to the uh, architectural plans and um, I basically got the level of the lower basement and it was a, it was SSL of 13.925 meters. And um, what I needed to do was find out the, uh, the level of the SSL that it was designed to, and it's currently in minus 6.775. So, so all I all I did was um, obviously um, I just used a calculator and 6.775. Take um, what was it again? 13.925. Take 13.925, and I realised that the, the model has to come up by 20.7 meters. So to do that, um, I just hit this translate button again, and um, instead of changing the using this this uh, button to, to work out the delta, I just I just basically put it in myself. So x y is not going to change at all, and z is going to go up by 20.7 meters. So um, I hit translate. So now when I take a section through. Um, the site, I can see where my Revit model is sitting and uh, just change the exaggeration to one to one. Um, so uh, just to double check that I've got this right. Um, so the, uh, the SSL is 13.925, basement number one, 16.925. And that's what the, uh, the uh, architectural guys are saying is the SSL. So now when I look at my Revit model in uh, perspective view, I ha um, it is now basically positioned um, in, in the correct uh, coordinates. It's at, the, it's at the correct level and it's uh, orientated in the right rotation.